All right, what up, Fantastics? Welcome to another Fantastic Live show. I'm your host, Alexi, that weird Finnish dude from Finland. And uh, yeah, greetings from here, Helsinki, Finland, the capital. It's been a great Sunday again. And let me just try to get the editor. There we go. And uh, it's good to have you guys here again on the show. It's been a very interesting weekend because I had uh, we had the official meetup in Helsinki yesterday, and that was pretty fantastic. Uh, fantastic had a lot of uh met a lot of awesome people there we were like around 12 people that's pretty good stuff so i can talk about that more in a second we have some people already we have loredana we have stefan who was also in the meetup yesterday we have belle and i think this is some uh mandarin which i can't really re- i can I, I think i can def i can recognize the second character which is quite typical in japanese uh, so yeah, let me know in the chat where are you watching this stream because it's always ever awesome and interesting to know from which part of the world there are people who are interested in this Finland, Finland and Finnishness and fantastic stuff. You look fitter than ever. Wow, that's a compliment. Well, maybe it's because my beard. I don't know. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, Jeff Allison is also here. Alem sound that sounds very Turkish. I assume that's Turkish. Why Mo is hello and Moi Mo is goodbye? Because that's just Finnish, you know, Finnish is a weird language, we Finns are weird people. But I think it makes simple, you know, just say once it's hello and say it twice it's bye bye. Uh, Canada, Vancouver, from Buden, Sverige, Vafin, that we have no gra... Uh, from Sverige, Oxo, the you find. Uh, from Nigeria, hello, aus Deutschland, we have an auch Leute aus Deutschland, sehr gut. Moi from Tampere, ah, Alexander Laura, I think she's from Poland originally, if I'm not completely mistaken. And also people from Italy, pretty good stuff. Oh, that's so so many different countries. Belgium and Loreda is also one of our regulars here. So good stuff. Yeah, so I hope your weekend has been great. Uh, as I mentioned quickly, in, in the beginning, we had the first meetup yesterday. That was pretty good. We had like a small kind of picnic in Esplanade Park. And there was like 12 people there, which is six times more than in the first meetup I ever threw in Tampere like last year. So we had two people there. Uh, but, well, I kind of assume that more people would or, or were able to join because Helsinki is, you know, a little bit more international. And I think more people, more of my viewers actually live in he live in Helsinki than in Tampere. And uh, of course my channel has grown a little bit since last year. So I guess I was able to reach more people and so on. We have also Mexico, US and Taiwan. Oh, Taiwan. That's pretty cool. Great. We, it seems we are having 21 people. But I guess this uh, we will get the other people coming uh, a little bit later. But that's fine. Great, so uh, for this one, uh, I think, or my plan was just to help you answer your typical common questions about Finland and Finnishness. I already asked uh, some questions on Instagram, or I I asked you to send me questions, and I have a few questions here, so I will start with those. Uh, Let me just quickly have a look at the comments section. Is it true that you have snow patrol for bands lost in the forest? Snow patrol for bands lost in the forest. I'm not really sure w- what this question means. Uh, how is the weather f- in Finland now? Hot or cold? I think it's not either. It's well, it de- definitely enough to wear shorts. I think it's maybe 20 degrees. I think that's quite hot. Yeah, good stuff. So, uh, so what we will, how we will proceed? I will first check out the questions on Instagram because the people who were first deserve re- deserve to be served first. Uh, but yes, yeah, so feel free to send questions on the chat and come and hang out with the other fantastics. But I will, because I'm not, uh, I cannot clone myself, so I can only focus on a few things at a time. So, all right. So we have a first question from uh, Khan Sim asking, how many days are enough for travel to discover Finland generally? That's a good question. Uh, well, it depends how much, oh, like how much do you want to discover? For example, if you come to Helsinki, I believe like three to four days maximum is enough for Helsinki. But if you want to discover the real Finland, I think you should definitely head outside of Helsinki, like Tampere, Turku, uh, maybe some other cities like Porvo. So, I mean, 
if you have the chance, I would maybe even book like one and a half weeks or maybe two weeks. It depends how much you want to discover. But uh, luckily the cities in Hels or in Finland are quite small. So aside from Helsinki, that's the biggest one. I think three to four days is definitely enough. And the smaller ones, maybe two, two days each. I mean, you can get a pretty good uh, idea of the city. Oh, so, well, it depends just how much you want to go. Of course, if you go to Lapland, I think that's another big, big uh, target or resort to check out. I think maybe even one week in Lapland could be enough. The thing is, I've never, I've, I've been Lapland once, but I was like teenager. <laughs> so I haven't really been there at, uh, as in adult age. So I can't really tell or like give like really proper insight on that. But that's something I would say. Depends on the cities, but if you discover, if you want to go check out the cities, like I think two days for the smaller cities, it should be enough, like two nights, I'd say. Good question. Thanks for the question. So then we have a SA Medaholic as do you speak Swedish too? Yeah, I can speak Swedish a little bit. Unfortunately, it's a little bit rusty, but I can do like some uh, s small talk and stuff. So. Uh, alltså, jag kan tala svenska lite grann, men uh, på sistone har jag, inte, ha, har jag inte haft så mycket möjlighet att prata svenska. Uh, och där, och därefter, um, inte snälla, därefter uh, min vokabulär är inte så bra. Men jag tänker att jag, skill ha, jag, jag har nog de kunskaperna att prata svenska. Okej, okay. great. Thanks for the question. So I was just saying like, <laughs> yeah, I just realized because you probably don't understand Swedish. So I was just saying like, recently I haven't been able to speak that much Swedish. So my vocabulary is, is a little bit rusty though, but I still have the speaking skills intact. Good question. Uh, how do you, okay, there's we have two questions from Loredana. So from the, from Instagram, what do you folks think about you being a vlogger? Do you have to be careful what you say about Suomi? Okay, that's a good, interesting question. So I assume folks. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by folks. Do you mean your, my parents or do you mean Finnish people in general? I would just assume this means my parents. Well, my parents don't, I think they're quite okay with it. They don't really, uh, you know, praise it or, you know, they don't really if you say anything negative about it my dad watches sometimes my videos my mom doesn't really like my parents are not on social media they don't even have facebook accounts thank god uh, but they do have, use whatsapp and stuff but usually when we have like a family meeting you know with my relatives and stuff that some of my relatives watch my stuff and then they tell my parents like oh like alex makes good videos <laughs> so then they're kind of it's kind of funny uh but they don't really know what's happening in my channel and they don't really, you know, for the second part, do they, do, do I have to be careful what I think about? Not really. Because even if I say something negative about Finland, it's usually, I try to be as constructive as I can. Uh, if I talk about something negative, like the good example was the 10 reasons not to move to Finland that has sparked so much. <laughs> Uh, it's not, I would just not, not a shit storm, but you know, it's a lot of debate, but I mean, it's not in the media or, or anything, but there's like a lot of comments and stuff, especially from Finns. Uh, do you have people recognizing you in the street? Uh, this is the second question. Uh, do you have people recognizing you in the streets? And if yes, how do you react to that? It does happen. Like, especially when, since I moved to Helsinki, it happens maybe once a month. And I think it's just cool. Like people usually say, hey, like I watched your videos and it helped me to understand this country better. And that's actually what, I, what I'm trying to achieve with these videos. And I think that's pretty cool. And I might like, ask like where they're from. And you know, it's kind of really brief because it, if it happens in the street. But I think it's pretty cool. Like I don't really mind. I'm not really striving to be a celebrity really, but this kind of getting that these kind of random encounters just kind of makes my day better and that's definitely good stuff all right let me have a look at the live chat my there's a lot of people youtube central jeff allison is also here uh, folks means friends family workmates yeah okay my family doesn't really know but my and my friends don't really ask about that much either sometimes i might just bring it my uh, up myself Austria still long days, no sunset. Yeah, the sun is still up. It's 
past eight if I quarter past eight here uh, okay good stuff so nothing to spectacular what was that there was some kind of bling blinking sound not sure if it was from here or from the YouTube well it seems to be fine by the way uh, if you want to support the channel and you know make this even more fantastic you can uh, consider sending a super chat uh, you can do that by hitting the dollar sign below the chat and you can choose the sum and you can when you send it you get like this really bright message and you also support the channel and they actually YouTube opened the super chat in 20 more new countries just a few days ago so it might be available for you so consider doing that if you feel that if you feel the channel is worth super chat but if if not that's also fine just reminding reminding you how to do that awesome so let's take the next question uh, thanks Loredana for the previous questions so Sokro YG asks where can you do sailplane flying in Helsinki and are there hobby hobby hockey teams for women that's a very very detailed question I don't know I don't know because I've never even heard about this kind of sport maybe there is I mean I think there should be circles for every sport and that's especially for ho hobby hockey teams I would assume there would be so some but I can't really give any detailed info because I don't really know but oh, but I would say you could definitely find you just need to go on the internet and find it there. Thanks for the questions. So Breeze really asks, what are your fears? No judging from me. Okay. Uh, well, I have only like one concrete fear. That's like high places. For example, if you remember the last live stream, I was I told like I was on a I, I was on a date at Linnanmäki amusement park, and we went to these like really crazy attractions and. Uh, I was <laughs> kind of, it was really funny because I was kind of like a little bit stressed and sweaty and scared and she was just like completely relaxed because I'm not, I'm not really in, in comfort zone in those, but that's definitely one. Uh, not sure if there's anything else, like something that I could definitely mention here. All right. Um... Yeah, for 380 s talk about Finnish dialects in Finland. Well, uh, I think that requires a proper video because I cannot really mention anything concrete or worth saying because I don't actually know about know about like I don't have any active knowledge. Like if I can, if someone speaks me in dialect, then I can ah oh, okay probably recognize it. But you know, I haven't really looked into this topic, so I cannot really talk about it now. But I try to make a video about that at some point because that has been requested before so sorry about that but thanks for the question anyways uh, so the next question is from Alexei Solo I can the, the name is truncated it's I can't read it all the way but yeah Alexei asks what is the best way the best way to learn Finnish at the very beginning is a question mark. Uh, well what what would I say? I mean, I just recently watched a very good video uh, about learning Japanese or like what's the best way to learn Japanese. And the point in that video was to not put too much effort to finding the best way, the best way to learn. And instead, just start learning, just start do something because you will you will on the way you will find the best ways. Because you, if you just start to stress too much and you know, we talk about this is called analysis, paralysis from analysis. So if you try to think too much, what is the best way, you know, spend like weeks researching and instead of just doing something to get started. So definitely just get started, start doing something, learn um, so something concrete I would give is to start learning some useful vocabulary, useful phrases and start using them yourself, speak them, uh, you know, pronounce them yourself, read them and also Get a speaking partner as soon as possible. I mean, that's that's gonna be the most helpful thing ever. What you can do when when you're learning any language. When I started to learn Japanese, I found my speaking partner within three weeks, and once a one, once a week we had these easy conversations, and that helped me a lot in the beginning because the beginning is the most difficult part in Finnish because it's mostly most likely very new language to you, so getting inside the language takes a while. 
But once you get inside and it, when you once you get inside the language, it will start slowly make sense to you. And uh, this is this is the part where most of the learners also quit and give up because they just realize it's too difficult. But you need to give it time, you know. Don't, don't give up. Just do every. Uh, yeah. Another quick tip is do something every day, like a little bit, like. 30 minutes a day or 15 minutes a day depending how busy you are or how much time you have because if you do 30 minutes a day that's like 3.5 hours a week and if you multiply that by 52 which is like one year that's like uh, 3 times 50 is like oh, it's like 170 hours a, a year and imagine if you learn finish 170 hours a year that's a that's a crap lot of hours you should you should get quite good at that time. Great. Uh, let me have a look at the uh, chat. Oh, Sayakas also. Ilda, did I miss anything good? Well, we I'm just been just answering some questions I got on from Instagram. We've been talking about Finnish language, Swedish, and traveling in Finland so far. And you can actually rewind the chat also, like or re rewind the uh, the show by just, you know, hitting the back button. Great, that's a good question. But I mean, just start. Starting is to start and don't give up. And at the beginning, don't give a crap about for the grammar, because the grammar is very difficult. And if you start to learn the grammar, uh, it's just gonna get quite discouraging, unfortunately. But, but many people before you have learned Finnish and have become even fluent in Finnish, so it's definitely possible. There's, uh, I have many videos on that, about that on my channel where I'm speaking Finnish with uh, foreigners who have learned Finnish. Okay, John K asks, Finland was, uh, was Finland always so expensive? How was, how was it before Euro? Oh, uh, well, I mean, I think it's always been the same level. Of course, inflation always rises, the, makes the prices rise every year but before euro well of course when i was younger it wasn't it, it didn't it didn't used to be that expensive but now i feel like every, every as time passes prices just go up because of inf inflation mm. all right so stefan asks the next question why is it such a big deal if Finland becomes a nato member uh well i'm not sure if i'm the correct person to ask this but most the, the biggest obstacle in this is because russia is or is the neighbor so that's probably the most uh, the hottest hottest kind of factor in the whole equation i would say that's probably the if if we if russia wasn't there then it shouldn't be at that problem but i think estonia is also a nato country but they are also bordering you know with russia but yeah maybe i'm not the most <laughs> knowledgeable person to answer this one Great. Okay, that's where all the Instagram questions. Now I can have a look at the chat and see what you guys are up to. Let's see. Where's my... Uh... Stefan is again. What's up, Alex? My bad for joining. I just came from home at the beach. Have you reco recovered from the fun yesterday? Lol. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the stuff yesterday. I actually went to see a few of my friends in Kalli and then went home. But I'm back in the business. All in all. Is it easy to find vegan food in Finnish supermarket? Yes. I think Finland is very vegan friendly. And I mean, they are quite easily labeled. To Well, what I've heard, I'm not a vegan myself, but uh, I would say it's quite easy. Like the op options for vegan are quite, quite good. Uh... Never experienced living surrounded by Finns, but I like to understand Finnish humor. Well, the language is definitely the key to that. Why did you move from Tampere to Helsinki? Because I finished school and I got the job. Uh, we finished our sexy, yay. <laughs> I agree. Your thoughts regarding Finland joining NATO? Well, we already talked about that. What bothers more you more during the winter, the cold or the darkness? Uh, 
maybe it's the cold. That's actually a good question. I think they're both kind of annoying, but maybe the cold. Hmm. I'll say the cold, probably. Lol, I've heard my Finnish friends talking smack about them and they're saying Swedish people are gay. <laughs> That's the typical stereotypical joke that Finnish people say about Swedes. But it's more like a joke. I've also made a video about this, like a street interview. Uh, what else do we have? Do Finnish people have hate towards Russians? Uh, well, maybe some do, but I don't think it's. I don't think nowadays it's. I I wouldn't I wouldn't feel like it. Well, we, because we we Russians took some of our land in the world war, so that's kind of the reason. But I think I don't think because it's it's been like a long time ago. I think it's been. Uh, it's not at that bad as it used to be. Alexa, please talk about Helsinki Red Light District. <laughs> Do <laughs> oh wow, I don't think we have such thing here. Well, I mean, Kallio, we have a lot of these Thai massage places, but I don't even know if we have a red light district here in in Helsinki. At least I cannot, I can't think of any place where there would be. <laughs> but if you wanna. If you want to find those kind of people, you have to just go to the internet. Do you know an app that shows where to pick blueberries? That will be actually quite interesting app, but I think that's not really... Uh, as an idea, it's quite good, but if everyone knew where there would be blueberries, everyone just would go there and then it's like gone. But uh, no. Actually, I, I haven't checked, but I probably think there... I would say there is no such app. I love darkness. Okay. Cool. So let's see if we have any other questions. So far, I don't think we have, or I didn't miss miss anything. Uh, uh, uh. Do you have any experience with the Sami people? No, because they actually live like quite north. And I think 97.6% of the Finns have no experience with the Sami people. Um, divorce in Finland, if one party not sign, it is possible to progress. I don't know. I've never experienced a divorce myself, but... I would assume there is some way to get around that, but I have no details on that, unfortunately. Hashtag, I'm, I'm a single guy, so. <laughs> and I have, I've never divorced either, so. Uh, my first Finnish friend and I always want to have conversation in Finnish so I can practice, but we never know what to talk about. Haha. <laughs> Do you know examples for easy practice conversations? Uh, well, a easy way is just to speak what you are interested in. For example, what have you been, what do you like to do on your free time or what kind of music you listen to? Like just some, try to keep it simple. Or what are you planning to do in the weekend? You know, so something like very easy. I'm eating watermelon now, even if it's midnight in China. Can I buy watermelons in Finland? Yes, you can. Very, very, you can find them pretty much everywhere. How often do you sauna? How many times per week or per day? Uh, at the moment, I don't really use sauna because I'm living like a block of flats and the sauna costs like 15 euro a month and I just don't bother paying it. But when I used to live uh, in my previous apartment where the sauna was free, I did it maybe once or twice a month. But if I had a sauna here at my place, then I would probably do like once a week. Do Finland have street hookers? 
I can see where you're getting to this with this one. No. Uh, no, no, we don't. How to find work in Finland? I've made a spe I've, I've made four videos of this topic. You can find them on my channel. Can you go alone to a public sauna or would you look like a total weirdo? You can absolutely go alone to a public sauna. I think I've, I've never done that before, but I mean, people don't really care. Like the, the truth is that people just care about their own business and they don't really mind what other people are doing. Do you use an electronic sco electric scooter? Actually, recently I have been using because they were introduced here in Helsinki. But uh, usually I use my own bicycle because it saves, saves me money and and stuff. Uh, Shockmaster asks, I'll ask a question for, do you know any pub quizzes in Helsinki, Vanta area? There, there definitely are pub quizzes, but I don't know where exactly because I don't really go to those. And I would assume they are in Finnish, but there might be some English ones as well, I'm not quite sure. What about milk? Always drink it after every meal. Uh, at home I do drink milk. Uh, if I go for lunch, I don't usually drink milk because it's not included in the price. What finish level is required to move to Finland? You don't need any finish. There's no finish requirement to move to Finland. But uh, knowing Finnish can help you help can help you out here today was the rally yeah nesta rally in Jyväskylä. do finland have any place equipped with air conditioners not by default for example i don't have any air conditioner here so people usually buy them but i don't think it's that common to do Someone once told there are some 27 pop quizzes in Helsinki and somewhere even in English. Okay, that's great. I mean, Google, if you just Google, you can actually find a lot of a surprisingly good information about different stuff. Hey, have you decided how to let your beard grow? Ahaha, <laughs> okay. Um, I've been thinking about maybe to grow a little bit more volume. But not not like a super like bushy, bushy style. So I'll probably keep like kind of this kind of shape. Of course, I'll just kind of trim it and you know try to keep it like clean, you know. But we'll see. Moi from New Jersey. Moi moi. What is the darkest city in Finland? Darkest? Well, I, I aren't they? I think they're quite equally dark. Well, if you go to the Lapland. There is like a season where there's no sun, <laughs> sun at all for some time. What are your hobbies besides the video channel? Uh, well, the video stuff takes quite a bit of my free time. I'm also doing a little bit work workouts recently. Uh, but that's about it. I guess my life is a little bit boring. I also read like ebooks and regular books. I usually lean on like business and like the self improvement stuff. Alex, do you think it's necessary to supplement with vitamins during the winter, such as vitamin D or B complex? Do you supplement yourself? I don't supplement myself, even if I could, I guess I could, but it's recommended, it, it might help. The sexy messy look is awesome, a lot of guys, winky face, all right, that's good to know. Do Finnish people know German singers, rappers? Because we know a few Finnish bands, singers here. Well, I think quite many know like Rammstein, but that's like a band, isn't it? But, uh, not sure, I, I, I don't think... It, at least I cannot really come up with any 
German singers. Besides like Rammstein. Maybe no, I don't know. It depends. Do you know any good place to watch meteor shower in Finland? No. What is a meteor shower? I've never even heard about it. Is there any crime book in Finnish do you recommend? Crime authors. I would think so, but I don't really consume those kind of books myself. But again, if you go to Google, I'm pretty sure you should find something there. What Russian vodka have you tried? Uh, I don't know. I have probably tried some, but I don't know the name. I'm I'm not really alcohol oriented guy myself, so. Akira Takashi says Moikka. That's definitely a Japanese name. Good stuff. Can I have my residence permit faster? Well, there's nothing I can do about it. And probably nothing for you as well, so you just have to wait. Do you think that older people like to live in flats or detached house? Might be, because usually... Uh, well, I think it's gonna be either or. So some like to just live in like a flat, like on rent, or like buy it. And it depends how big the house is. Not sure if there's any 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 difference. I heard that in summer when it's very hot, some supermarkets open and people can sleep in the cooling department. Ah, uh, that was just like a. <laughs> That's not really the case, but there there was this one shop that made this kind of funny social media experiment. But it's not really a thing, like a default thing here. What is the average age when people buy their own houses, apartments? I think it's actually quite young. I don't, I don't know. Oh, I got a text message. So. Uh, it's actually quite popular after people get get out from the uni, they get a job, and then they get their own flat. Because in Finland, very common mindset is that you want to get your own place as soon as possible, and living not living on a rent is not really trendy in Finland. So, for example, I know one one girl; she's like 24, and she bought her own place. Like a like a block of flat, but it's she's she she owns the place, so she's not living on the rent. So people get loan from the bank, they buy their own place. So I would assume it's quite quite a young age. I don't know around what. I don't know any. I don't have any statistics on that. But uh, what books about self development would you recommend? Well, it depends what what you want to develop. So for example, I've been recently reading some books about investing. And for example, one book that everyone should read is uh, or listen to. Let me, I can actually write it here. Is Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Like this is this is a must read. I mean. For everyone who wants to manage their money better and grow their wealth. They have some really good eye openers there. That's definitely something that could, could uh, work for everyone. Mark Manson, The Art of Not Giving a Fuck. I've actually listened to that one. <laughs> that was quite funny, actually. I like Kuhala detective books because their stories are based in my city. All right. That sounds pretty good. Hey Alexi, I'm Alex. I just moved to Finland for a living. Could you give advice how to start studying Finnish in Helsinki or Espo? I mean, when it starts, how to find free courses? I'm not sure if you can find free, free courses or if free courses are actually good. I have one free course myself, which you can of course take. It's an online course. I th Maybe the link is in the description where you can get it. Or just let me send me like a Instagram message or I can send it to you as well. Uh, but if you like to take classes, then there, there definitely are classes, but I don't really know when or where. Just Googling. 
Google should help you a lot. And find a practice partner. That's I think that's even better than classes. Like if if uh, if I was to start a new language instead of taking classes, I would pay to get a like a one-on-one -on -one tutoring. At least that that's yeah that's what I would try first to see how it works. I've I've always liked to take classes, but you know the classes can be really good or they can be bad, so you can't really know. And in one-on-one -on -one stuff, the teacher or the tutor can give 100% focus on you and your progress. Have you seen Northern Lights in Finland? I can't really say I have. Most of the Finns have a murky, right? Isn't it expensive to have literally two houses? Uh, I guess so. Some people build a murky themselves, though, but... Yeah, I mean, that's that's how pe what people do. I'm immigrating this coming August with my college grades. Can I transfer even with the bad grades? I don't know. I, I can't really answer that kind of questions because I have no experience on that or I'm not the education specialist. How was the summer in Finland this year? I think it was quite good. It was we definitely had good weather. And not not that many crappy like rainy days and stuff. So I would say it's it's been quite nice. All right, good questions. Let's see if I skipped any any stuff. And remember, if you want to support the channel, you can send a super chat by the dollar sign. You can choose the sum, and you get like this little bright message, and uh, you can you can support the channel that way. But that's up to you if you want to do it. And but if you do, so good stuff. It's been cold past few weeks, strong and cold wind. Well, I've been still wearing shorts and t-shirts for, I think it hasn't been that bad, but, you know, that's my subjective opinion. Know any shops that sell pickled cactus? Uh, no, unfortunately, I don't know, but i just not sure if it's something you can find here or not. How long is the train ride from Helsinki to Tampere? Uh, it's like one hour. Just go to VR and buy the tickets there. You can also see. I'm going to, by the way, next video next Wednesday will be about like how to travel inside Finland to other cities using buses and trains and stuff. So that's gonna be uh, way on uh, Wednesday. Yeah. What are major stereotypes Finns about Danes? I don't know. Maybe we don't have any because Danish are not. As close as like Swedes. At least if I if I was to, to tell like any any stereotypes from Danish, I I can't really come up with anything. But that's just me. Do a video on how to sport a hairstyle like yours. <laughs> well, I don't really do anything about this. It's just because it's I don't really put much effort on my hairstyle, so it's just naturally curly, and that's it. Is Formula One still as popular as in Finland today? Smith Mikakin was driving. I would I I would say no, because back in the days it was free to watch on TV, but nowadays you have to pay in order to watch it. So I think that was kind of one factor that kind of lowered the interest. Can you make a video about moving to Finland? Like what has to be done, paperwork, etc. I've already made a video about like how to get a residence permit and basically that is the thing that you need in order to move here. But of course, well, it's kind of like a general, it gives the general guidelines how to get the residence permit, but I mean, there might be some other stuff. Some other stuff too. Are in the comics from Finland like J.P. Ahon and Esim? Uh, I haven't even heard of this myself, <laughs> so I guess the answer is no. Finnish sounds like Swedish, but with a hot potato in your mouth. <laughs> That's a funny one. 
Never heard of that one before. All right, uh, we are 43 minutes in, I guess. Can I see the... I can see the uh, timer, but uh, yeah, because we start at, as, at 8 and now it's 43 past 8, so I guess it makes sense. Let me just check. Uh, Okay, whatever. Uh, uh, what is your favorite Finnish book besides the Kalevala? Well, I haven't really read Kalevala completely, and I think quite many Finns haven't. I mean, they probably have read it a little bit, but I'm not sure if they've really completely read it. My favorite Finnish book. Not sure. I don't really read books in Finnish. Oh, exactly. Recently, I read a book about Finnish apartment investing. That was actually a pretty good one. So maybe it would be that one. It's called Osta Vuokra ja Vaurasta, which means buy, rent and get rich. Konnichiwa, Alexi Chan. What is your favorite manga or anime? Dragon Ball Z. One of my, eh, <laughs> I think that's that's the undisputed top, top one. If a girl asks you out to a theater, play opera, ballet, or something similar, uh, what is the? Uh, I don't understand the question. I think it, the rest was like left out. Because if you start with the sentence like if, then I expect like then. But... Wow, Alex, you look really handsome with your beard and mustache. Thank you. That's good. Alex, can you set 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 up a post office box? Uh, for what reason, if I may ask? Uh, sorry, if she asked you out one of those, would you go? Well, if it was the first date, I don't think that's a really good one because if if it's a first date, then the point is to get to know the person better. And in that kind of thing, it's very hard to do. For example, going to movies on a first date is a bad idea because you're just focusing on the movie and not on the other person. But uh, let's say if we've been dating for a bit already, then... I mean, why not? Because it's something new. I don't really do that usually. How did you learn kanji? Uh, by just learning new vocabulary, you know, and slowly I just realized like some kanji appears more often than uh, I, I, or I know these patterns with the kanji and that the, how you pronounce the kanjis in different situations and slowly it's just started to build from there. It's kind of like the Finnish grammar, you know, like in Japanese you have like these Chinese characters, there's like 2,000 of them. And at the beginning I was like, what the fuck, how does this work? But then I just like slowly kept pushing and slowly it opened. And actually I think nowadays it makes a lot of sense. Of course there are still like quite a bit of kanji, I don't know, but if I just see a new kanji and then I just like, okay, let's look it up. And okay, it means this and this, and these are the pronunciations, and there we go. A lot of guys here would find it weird slash boring, I guess. Well, it depends. Hey, love from the Caribbean. All right, awesome. We have a few people from Caribbean. Do you have a carambola star fruit in Finland? I don't know. I've never heard of that before. Also, is Finnish title one of the happiest country? Well, according to the official study, it is, but, you know, like, can you really measure happiness? What kind of Finnish food do you think is the weirdest of all? Well, I heard you can eat, like, bear meat. But I, I'm not sure if I ever had bear meat myself, but that sounds quite a bit weird, I guess. Or mustamakkara is maybe also a bit weird. 
But I like musta makkara, so I guess I can't really say it's weird. And also something to let you know, today's my last f uh, day of the summer holiday, so I've been on holidays for five weeks. And tomorrow I'm going back to work, so god damn it. Post office, post office box to get fan mail, gift packages, etc. Ah, that's a good in, good idea, but uh, it costs money here to set it up, so. Well, maybe at some point, we have to see. Uh, anything else? Mammy. Oh, Mammy is a good one, yeah. But Mammy is also good. Best Italian pizzeria in Helsinki. Uh, I don't know. I don't really eat out in Helsinki because it's expensive. Five weeks off. Was that mandatory? Uh, no, I guess. But because in my what I do is kind of okay to do. Helsinki has excellent public transport. What is generally the quality of public transport in the rural areas? Well, expect way less traffic. And usually there are only buses in other ones. Five weeks of holiday. Now that's luxury. Yeah, I know. I actually I was kind kind of happy about that myself. But Moi, damn! You have a new layout. Noise. What do you mean by new new layout? Not sure what you mean by that. But thanks anyway. I was talking to a Finnish guy. And so he claims he really likes me and is into me, but completely not texting me back for a few days. I don't know, Lola, I'm trying to understand him. Well, why, why don't you just text him first, I mean. Or like texting me back, does it mean that you've texted him something and then now he's not replying? Uh, your video layout. Ah, uh, we've, we've used, it's been like this for like one year. I guess so. Ah, oh, you haven't seen the Steam for it. Okay, that explains it because I think we have been using this one for like a year or so. Travel to rural areas is great. Four hours on the train up to Kokkola or 7.5 hours to drive it. No brainer. Does Finland have any bookshops that have a cat on site? No, I don't think we have any bookstores like that. All right. Great. Ho, ho. Ah, that's some good vodka. <laughs> All right, uh, I think we can take a few more questions. Does it make sense to buy a car for use in rural areas? Especially in the winter, it might make sense. I mean, it depends to if you have kids or like how long it's to your work or depends completely on different factors. Can you introduce some renewable energy project in Finland? In China, we build huge hydroelectricity power plants. Uh, well, I'm not really expert on that field, so I can't really, I can't unfortunately do that. Vegeta or Goku? <laughs> I think I I like Goku a little bit more, yeah. But Vegeta is pretty kick-ass as well. Son Goku. Cool. All right. Let's shoot a few more questions and then we will wrap up the stuff for this stream. Which he has a cry, baby. I kind of disagree. I think he's he's pretty like a tough guy. Is trauma a good place to raise more than two children? Uh, well, 
these are very detailed questions. Well, I think Rauma is kind of calm place, you know. I, I would, I would, maybe it is. I'm not going to get the car when I move there. Like, yeah, car in Helsinki is not, like, don't get the car. I mean, I don't have a car and no, I have no plans to get the car. But, well, of course, it depends on your situation. The public transportation is good. It's quite uh, reasonable priced. It's really reliable. And car is just a liability. And, like, parking, finding a park place in Helsinki with the car is just a... Nightmare. I am really interested in this guy, but my friend thinks if a man releases interest in you, he would be at least interested in getting to know me better. Yeah, but I mean... But you can also be active yourself. I mean, that's the problem with the Finnish guys. Like, if you... If you are... If you are into a Finnish man, you just need to let you know you're interested. Because we Finnish guys might not do that. So I always... Uh, always... Uh, always advise to... For girls to be active as well. Because why not? We are living like in the 20... How do we say? 22nd century. Nothing but the economical burden. Yes, don't get the car, I mean. It makes no sense. Okay, very interesting questions. We've talked about language, we've talked about dating, we've talked about food, we've talked about quite a bit of different kind of stuff here. Which is good. Are you planning a trip to the USA anytime soon? Uh, no plans. No plans f at the moment, but yeah, I definitely like to visit. The population of Finland is declining since the 60s. On, wh on what does that base on? It's been declining since uh, 2010, and I've seen the statistics. Well, it depends, like, what do you mean by declining, but I mean from since 2010 we've had more dead people than born people you've been criticized for encouraging immigration how will finland protect its culture once its demographic profile changes i don't know that's a good question but the the, pro, the truth is that without immigration or population would decrease like or, or what can I say? Uh, so, okay, so what do you call it? Population. Um, because so soon the verse. Like the birth rate. Is the birth rate has been declining since 2010, but I'm not sure about the population. Yeah, okay. Thanks for the stream. I saw your photo from the meetup yesterday. It looked like fun. My fa five said it was great fun. Ah, okay, so you're. Your 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 Sam, I guess so. That's good. Yeah, we had a good time, definitely. Baby now is also here. Moi, moi. In my personal experience, dating or attempting to date the Finn is all about shooting your shoot. Go for it. Feel the vibe. I wish you best. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I think that's a very good advice in general. Like, don't just don't try to overthink it. But I instead of just trying to worrying like what's happening just you know take action and see what happens how's the weather been this summer it's been nice really we had really hot times and in general it's been quite nice what can you tell about tell us about Finnair well it's a Finnish airway company has very quite a few connections decent frequent flyer program i guess that's all about it is finland called all seasons well it depends what's called for you i i don't think so like this summer has been like crazy hot like 30 degrees celsius 
I'm hoping to one day acquire Finnish citizenship. Well, it's possible. I've also made a video about how to do that. One way is also to encourage Finnish people to get married and have kids. Yeah, like I made, I, I watched the article about this, and uh, according to Ule, there was like two big reasons for for this to happen. Is that uh, first is the economical situation, and the second was that finding the partner is has become more difficult. Now any hot air balloon festivals out there? Uh, no, I'm sorry, I don't know. Okay, uh, we are ab about to reach the one hour mark, and because I have to get ready for tomorrow's tomorrow, but getting my ass back to work, so I have to do some preparations. And but thanks for this uh, fantastic show. If you haven't checked out my or or, or Facebook group, we have like a fantastic Facebook group with like this 550 fantastics there. You can also join for free and also make sure to follow me on Instagram if you haven't because I also share like some everyday Finnish stuff from my personal life. So if you want to check it out, so and like I said, the next video will be on Wednesday and that will be about how to travel inside Finland with long distance buses and trains and stuff. So good stuff coming up there and uh, so yeah, thank you. Thanks uh, guys for this live stream. I hope you have a great week starting tomorrow and I will see you in the next video on Wednesday. So, so tomorrow. Kiitoksia kaikille.